Hello and welcome to Official Xbox 360 Magazine's OXM Report. Now, with Bioshock Infinite most people's biggest game of Gamescom, we thought we'd take a look at who irrational games are and why people get so excited when they announce a new title. The studio was formed in 1997 by three former members of Looking Glass Studios, Ken Levine, Jonathan Shea and Robert Fermier. The team's first game was a deeply creepy sequel to a game they've worked on at Looking Glass. Stop us if this sounds familiar, but System Shock 2 is a first-person horror shooter with RPG elements. As a soldier assigned to a spaceship called the Rickenbacker, which is escorting an experimental ship on its maiden voyage, you wake up from cryosleep to discover the entire crew has been turned into shuffling nasties by a freaky deaky alien infection. Like Bioshock, much of the plot is relayed through audio communications and logs. Unlike Bioshock, the game has mutant killer monkeys. And I still have nightmares about those monkeys. Anyway, the team's next game of note was the colourful superhero strategy game Freedom Force, released in 2002. The game saw you taking command of a squad of comic book characters and leading them into battle against the shadowy figures of Lord Dominion and the Time Master. The game's stylized visuals and imaginative spoofs of Marvel and DC heroes made it a hit with PC players, and it spawned a sequel that saw the Freedom Force go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Third Reich. In 2005, Levine and co followed up Freedom Force vs. the Third Reich with a new instalment in a classic tactical shooter series. But as you'd imagine, they couldn't resist slipping some storyline in there. While the plots of the Rainbow Six Vegas games could probably be scrawled on the back of a beer mat, every single one of Swap 4's missions had a miniature narrative to it. Particular highlights were the Silence of the Lambs style raid on a basement dwelling serial killer and an assault on a tenement where a child murdering cult has holed up. It's hardly your average episode of The Bill. The dark, sinister streak that runs through the game makes it much more than a standard tax shooter, but the running, gunning and arresting was enormous fun as well. Our favourite was the hilarious selection of non-lethal weaponry, including the now infamous beanbag shotgun. And then the big one. Bioshock was released in 2005 to near universal acclaim, and if you were au fait with Irrational's previous work, you'll have recognised it as a glossy, spiritual successor to System Shock 2. Bioshock took many of the elements that people had enjoyed from System Shock 2, trimmed off some of the fat and crammed it all into a more satisfying shooting game. This time around though, instead of a floating spaceship, the haunted house was Rapture, an enormous undersea city that had torn itself apart. We don't need to tell you that Bioshock was an enormous success, but what you might not know is that Bioshock 2 was built by an entirely separate team of developers. Irrational was already hard at work creating another unique environment in the Bioshock universe, and we wouldn't be surprised if the creation of richly detailed and original game worlds became another tradition for the studio. Which brings us to the stunning trailer for Bioshock Infinite. The plot may be completely removed from the original Bioshock, but we think you're going to recognise some familiar themes. Once again, there's an imaginative setting with a detailed background story. This time it's a flying city called Columbia that's on the brink of societal collapse. There's also RPG elements, which see you collecting new abilities similar to the plasmids in the original Bioshock. And, as you'd expect from Mr Levine, it's clear there'll be a dark biological twist to the tale as well. At least if the giant brass robots with visible beating hearts are anything to go by. So there you have it. Irrational Games has an impressive history and that's just one of the reasons why we think Bioshock Infinite is going to be something very special indeed. Keep an eye on the official Xbox 360 magazine for more information in the very near future.